Hi, in this demo, I want to show you functionality of a new feature macro converter that will give you possibility to convert automatically your XLSM files with the VBA macros to the format of Google spreadsheets, including uh, Google Apps Script. If we want to use a tool like that, uh, you of course need to install it by this uh, Google Workspace Marketplace marketplace but at first let's look into the files that we will be converting today so we are having here like a three simple files the first one is a hello world the simplest of them all this is the one that, where you can actually go into the script run directly a little query that will show you that pop-up window the second one regional sales is a file in which by using a button that was included in this place create dashboard you are able in excel files generate like a pivot table basing on this regional sales uh, records and additionally uh, a chart that will be showing how the sales were spread across the different months and we have one a little bit more advanced file so this is like an aggregator that by using a proper script is connecting to the two other excel files that were for example uh, sales data for january and february and it's gathering and organizing them inside of this one big file everything is done by a script so if we want to convert three of those then at first we need to go on the right side to the plus get add-ons and then here in Google Workspace Marketplace, we want to look for macro converter, which is here on the list. This is how it looks like. We can click on it. We can install. Of course, choose continue. And if we will be asked for the authorization, we need to choose to which account we want to authorize it. We need to review what the permission it will get and i will hit allow macro converter has been installed perfect so i can click done and i can close this window on the right side you are able to see the new icon that has just appeared macro converter if i will click on it it will load for me a view of a sidebar that allows me to convert the files uh, as i want so in here I need to click Add Files and Folder to be able to choose what kind of files I want to convert at this moment. Let's just wait for this Windows to load. Yeah, perfect. So I'm going into the proper folder. In here, we are having those three files that I was just showing to you. So I'm selecting all of them, hitting the Select button. And I just need to wait a second to see them being loaded into this tab. Perfect. So we have them here. As you can see in the uh, section source files, we can see the files that we will be converting. We can either add more files or folders, delete just single of them or clear the whole selection. And in the destination folder, we need to choose where all of those conversions should go. I will just leave it as this so for now it's saying demo excel macros converter so it's exactly the folder that we are uh, in right now and we are having possibility to choose between two options we can either generate a report that will show us a report of what and how can be converted and this report is a very great one uh, that will actually show us which files can be converted without any kind of issues so it will be fully supported it will show us which kind of a, which kind of a scripts will need like a little workaround so for example we need manually fix one or two stuff just to make it working or which files will need a lot more effort maybe to rewrite them and manually uh, adjust to be able to work within this uh, google drive environment so let's start with that i'm clicking generate report the new window is opening right now and i can see the progress when the macro converter is scanning for the files and seeing what kind of scripts we are having inside and how they can be converted towards a Google uh, app script. 
we can see that report is almost generated, it's 80%. So it should, yeah, it's ready right now. From here, we can either click view report or see in the background that the report actually is in here in the same folder that we've started conversion with. I'm clicking on the view report and this is how it looks like. So we are having in here like a few tabs at the bottom that we can go through and see more details if you want to. At the first tab, summary, it's very uh, nice shown that uh, we were totally analyzing three files from which two are supported exactly, which means that they should be running perfectly after the conversion without any, um, any manual modification needed. There is one file that is supported with a workaround. And in this case, zero files that will need more investigation and more of a manual work. Let's switch to the tab files compatibility. And in here, we can see a list of the files that we've included into this conversion. And by name of a file, we can see what's the status of the file. Hello World and Regional Sales are supported exactly with 100% compatibility. That This is great. And the Regional Sales aggregated is supported with a workaround, which means 90% of compatibility, uh, compatibility. And actually, towards the 42 VBA lines of a script, uh, there is like a 11 line supported one that needs a work around and the others will be converted the other way around. If we will go into the files detailed analysis tab, in here we can choose the file name. So we can, for example, choose regional sales aggregated to see more deeply what we need to do with this file uh, in order to be fully supported. And from here we can select supported with the workarounds that will show us which APIs actually we need to manually edit. And we can see in here that there's like a workbooks.open that uh, normally within the Excel means that we want to open like a separate Excel files and maybe load some data from it. And in here we can find a comment that if we will look more deeply into it, it's telling to us like an exact solution that we should take to be able to use this file. And inside of the, another tabs like APIs to investigate and APIs with workarounds, we'll find the summary of which unique APIs towards all of the files we've listed here will require like an additional work uh, towards the investigation of workarounds. Let me close the report right now and let's go one step further. So I will click on a convert button and from here, the new window will appear. It will again take like a, around one minute for us to convert those three files to Google Spreadsheets. So let's wait a second. Okay, perfect. This is done. We can from here click to view the results or we can just close this window and within the folder, our destination folder, we can go to the folder named by a date hour in the name of our conversion. If I will go into it, I'll be able to see three folders, including uh, the converted files and also the more information for how we can make it better. Let's go at first to regional sales. In here, we are able to see two files, one of which is readme about the output. And this includes all of the information about what we can change to make it better. And the second file is regional sales. You can see that right now it's not uh, anymore XLSM. Instead, it's Google Spreadsheet. If I will open it, you will be able to see uh, after a few seconds that there is a button create a dashboard. If I will click on it, 
I will need to authorize during the first run of the script. So I'm choosing my account. I'm seeing that this script will require, require the access to see, edit, create, delete spreadsheets in Google Drive and display run third party web content. So I will click allow. And as you can see, the new tab dashboard was created. Within it, there's a pivot table being created and also a chart. So works perfectly. If we will go to tools and the script editor, we will be able to see that in here, we are able to find the script that was converted by this tool. And it's being converted into four files on the left side in this case. The first file, module one, is actually the same file that was in the VBA script, which is containing the script itself and with this logic converted. The file library.js is the file that will be always append in here. And this one is including the libraries that are helping AppScript to, um, to deliver to you the functionality that the VBAs from Excel was having. The third file is unimplemented constructors. So whenever there will be any kind of a small or big issue with the conversion in here, you will be able to find the information about what kind of constructors were uh, unable to be converted perfectly. In the case of this file, you were able to see that it did his job uh, perfectly well. So we were able to get this pivot, we were able to get the chart. But even with that, we are able to see that there are some unimplemented constructors that maybe you want to manually later on review for a cosmetic changes and having you know like a very clear code and then in a fourth file variance resolution you can see the alternatives for some kind of a constructors that was already implemented this file was very easy and it worked as it should work you know just uh, after the conversion so let's look into the second file the original sales aggregated which is a little bit more complicated. At first, if we will go to the readme file, we will be able to see in here that there is a summary and the name of a file generated. And within the unimplemented APIs, there's only one position that we need to check. So this is workbooks open. And as I mentioned before, this one is actually covering opening the another Excel files that could be lying somewhere in the C drive on the Windows computer. We don't have a C drive within the Google Workspace environment, so we need to replace manually those kind of APIs with showing uh, links to another spreadsheet files. That, and then this script will be able you know, to just import all of the needed information into the file that we are looking for. In here, even you can see the workaround, and the workaround actually is saying, what I've just uh, said with this spreadsheet ID and finding another files. So let's go into this original sales aggregated and see how we can fix it. So within this file, we are having two tabs, online and offline. And in here, we will be having aggregated info from the different files that we are keeping on our Google Drive. I will open them for you to just show you how it looks like we are having this January, uh, January sales data, which is including data for online deals and offline deals. And we are having the same for February sales data. If right now in this regional sales aggregated, I will click on get data. I will need to authorize the script for the first time. Hello. And I will see this big red error saying to me that it's unable to perform its work because there is like no spreadsheet ID corresponding to the looking file. So let's go into the tools script editor. And from here, let's go to unimplemented constructors. The thing that we are looking right now will be located in this first handler, which is actually about to return the spreadsheet ID. This handle get Google spreadsheet ID is basing on a position like that 
in the main script file. So in the main script file, we are able to see that uh, the script is trying to find the spreadsheet ID. And normally, uh, when somebody was using this file as an Excel file, this was pointing at C, regional sales aggregated data, January sales data, XLSX. So this was a local file on somebody Windows computer. Instead, we need to place in here a Google spreadsheet. So let me just modify it a little bit. So instead of throwing the exception, we want to make it like that. I will just delete this and we want to have it. If the file name is index of, and in here I'm asking for John sales data xlsx and this is higher than minus one so it means that within the file name we are looking for a string containing january sales data xlsx and if that happens then we want to return and in this position i should say to which file we are forwarding this is January sales file. I'm having this file already being converted to Google spreadsheet here. So I will just go into the URL bar. And from here, I will copy this signs between the D slash and the next slash, which states for the file key, spreadsheet ID. So I'm pasting it in here. And the same we just need to do else if for file name index of and for now we will be looking for february sales data has to be higher than minus one and if it will be query like that we need to return the id of the february file so it's this, copy, paste, perfect. After doing this little, little change, I'm saving the script. So just to be sure that it will be run properly. And when I will go back to the file and click right now on get data, the script will be run again. So it's starting opening the file as the same way it is as it was implemented in uh, Microsoft Excel. So opening January online, February online, and now it should open January offline and February offline. With all of those openings, it's copying the data into the aggregated file. Of course, if we would be building that logic from scratch in Google uh, Spreadsheets, we can do it in the background, so there is no need of opening the files. But as you can see, data was aggregated and loaded to this file as it should be. So this is it. This is how it works. The macro converter, very useful tool. You can just connect as much uh, Excel scripts as you want to. And by either generating a report or converting it, you can see what kind of effort you will need to put in to be able to migrate uh, all of your Excel files with the macros to Google Spreadsheets. Just keep in mind that even if the file won't be uh, supported perfectly and not all of the APIs the macro converter would be able to convert, then still most of them will be converted automatically and you will just need to change those little, little things and then everything will be working. So thank you very much.